Hi guys, Fickle Boy here, back with another video, and I just got a surprise delivery from Pop in a Box. I uh, checked my emails like just this morning or whatever, and it said it'd been shipped. And then before long, someone knocks on the door. Oh, it's the postman with the actual pop. So I have to give Pop in a, pop in a Box their due for their fla flast. <coughs> so, sorry, I've, I've suddenly forgotten how to speak. For their fast delivery. So, um,. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't expect this to be out for like months. I thought this was just like some kind of pre-order because I ordered uh, the comic Hawkeye as well, but that doesn't come out till like either the the end of this year apparently. I don't know, but um, yeah, there you go. You get uh, a comic Hawkeye at uh, at long last. I'm guessing this is supposed to be in like you know in head in in like ahead of this Hawkeye show and I will not be watching any um, any more MCU TV shows. I've seen WandaVision in full and I definitely see uh, the alarm bells ringing but I don't I don't consider it to be as bad as um, uh, the other shows that they came out with. I've, I've only seen the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and won't be watching any more of that but obviously because I've just said I won't be watching any more MCU uh, shows and I know what's going on with Loki because I watched these guys reviews of it and it doesn't sound good I suppose but I'll continue watching the the films well I, I mean I, I've said I don't know if I can be asked for Eternals or Shang-Chi but I'll probably end up just going to see them compulsively or just not at all because you know I don't know if you ever like go to the cinema and you see all these movie trailers and you're like, oh, that, that looks good, that looks good. We should definitely go to see it. And then you never actually go to see it, ever. Anyway, I'll just read the Wikipedia plots online. Don't care. Right, so let's get to the actual, uh, I mean, summary, Wikipedia summaries. Anyway, let's get to the actual point of this video, which is to showcase the Wonder Pop from um, Endgame. So we finally get a new version of Wanda. They have a pop of Wanda's outfit for what was it Age of Ultron, and one for uh, Civil War. But those two molds are inferior in compared to this one, because not only do we get her in her grey outfit, we also get her using her superpowers like with the and actually almost be in a cool pose. Um, so that's good. And uh, I love the red eyes. Apparently this pop is supposed to glow in the dark. And I, and I really like the paint for the hair on this one. It actually kind of... It actually just looks really shiny or whatever. Kind of like it or bright, rather. Um, Yeah, I was going to say that I was just thinking about Funko Pops recently. Like, just thinking about how long I've been collecting them for. And thinking of the Iron Man one for Age of Ultron 2. When they first... I don't know when they first started experimenting with these kind of pops and these really cool poses like this, or, or like stands, if you get my drift. Um, that's one of the earliest ones I remember. So that's cool. And, you, and, and you're probably thinking, hmm, Figure Boy seems to like to collect a lot of female Funko Pops. But um, yeah, I, I actually um, am looking for a, uh, a male uh, Funko Pop in a really cool... Um, pose and whatever you know kind of a unique you know how to describe it um captain kirk from the original series they've got one of him in his uh chair so that's good but it's just annoying it seems now it's becoming easier to get funko pop exclusives and 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 like harder to get um no so it's easier to get funko pop exclusives and it's harder to get commons at this point because I'm not paying 16 quid for a common Funko Pop. No, no, no. I'm prepared to accept the fact that they've gone up to like 13 quid each. Which isn't too bad. But like 16 quid, which I know that's not the price that the actual proper retailers are charging. It's like the Amazon Marketplace and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's... Which you could put down to the fact that they haven't been officially released yet. They're not everywhere, so they're harder to find. I remember the Negan pop from Walking Dead 
would go for like 70 quid when it first came out. So yeah, and then they ended up coming out with a bunch of Negan variants. It kind of undermined the value of that. But I know that was only because it's just been released. Anyway, that's a point. I, I don't really know uh, what my next video should be. Actually, if I, I might do more reflections, actually. Um, to close this off, I'll just quickly show off the box. Um, there you go, Glow in the Dart sticker, Pop in the Box sticker, which it seems to be stuck on it. Stuck at a weird angle, but I don't care. And uh, here's the art. Well, not art, more 3D model, sort of, whatever. So you, have, you don't, haven't got any of the other characters... Um, uh, on the back here because obviously we we want Wanda to be the star of the show we don't want Doctor Strange on the back of the box we just just want Wanda here don't we and obviously um I just want Wanda on the back of the box not for uh, those kind of reasons but because uh, I'm only interested in looking at Wanda in this case um there you go uh see if I'll you know I'll, I'll go see if I <coughs> sorry let me go and see if I can get a picture of her Glowing in the dark. And I'll do that after I say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Please subscribe. And I'll try not to be too cringy. Until the next one. Adios. That's the right word.